Welcome to Welly's World Podcast. I'm your host, Welly Jackson. He's in the building. It's the... It's us in the building today, it's baby. The OGs tonight. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You see what it is. I fuck with that. I got my man in the building, Alex Crow. What up? Alex Crow, that's at the status quo on Instagram. Checking you all, checking y'all out. What's good? How you been? Bro, chilling. Yo, real quick, shout out to my man Eric Delasandro. We, shout out. We just did a whole weekend at the Mayo Performing Arts Center in Morristown, New Jersey. It was five dope shows, bro. Big shout out, big shout. I'm literally just coming from there right now. I'm I'm on that, you know. Just got off Stay stage. On that energy. Energy then. How was it? Yeah, Tell me about it. Let me hear. yeah, bro. Like it feels good to be back. Meaning, like you know, things are open. Like we doing theaters and things of that nature. Like right. it's, you know, it's not the whole y'all could come in with thirty three percent, but. We're going to sneak 50 in. Now the house is packed. I saw it. The house Shit open. <laughs> good, good love, good energy, good people, man. It feels good rocking real shows, big stages. I, I, I love it. Shout out to Eric. Nikki Paris. Shout out to Nikki Paris. Leanna, shout out to you too. Shout out to the whole squad. Weekend of dope shows. That was amazing. Bro, it was dope. It was good shit. How about you, bro? How was your week? Been an interesting week. Introspective. You know what I'm saying? Introspective week. Interestante. You know it's good when I'm busting out the SAT words. Yeah. Uh, it, it was a good time. Nigga went on a walk this week. And nigga ain't walked in forever. Walk, walk, getting <laughs> cardio in. Yeah. No, not even that. Like like an introspective walk. It was one of those weeks. Oh, he was, he was fucked up. He was no, no, no. no. It's one of those weeks where it's just like, you know, you, you, you slow everything down. And then you just, you know, it's, you, you, for, for a nigga who don't really think, it's it's a good time to slow everything down and just start thinking about some shit. You know what I'm saying? That's really what it is, you know? Thinking. A lot of bro, thought. Bro, you just said a bunch of nothing. I don't understand. A bunch of nothing? I thought about some shit. That's what I did this oh, week. I, yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. Nigga was out there. Too. Nigga was out there. What do you bitches want from a nigga? <laughs> Nah. I know what's going on. A lot of thoughts. Emo. He said emo. Nah, it ain't no emo shit. I'm I love to. It ain't no emo shit. Nah. Emo shit is when you be thinking every day. No, I don't be thinking every day. Nah. It's just take some time. Take some time out. You know, just get it for yourself. That's what it's about. All right. You got to do that every now and then. It's, it's, it's healthy. It's so, so I've heard. So All I've heard right. it's healthy, but it'd be like that. But yeah, man, you know. Other than that, still out here rocking these shows. Did a park show yesterday. That was fun. All yeah. right. Doing but shows in the park. That's hosted stuff. that. You know, with Stand Up New York. Shout out to them. So, yeah, they had me on their show yesterday. Hosted that. It was a good time. Brought a whole crowd in, you know? It's crazy because when you're there and it's hey, like. Comedy show over here. Comedy show. Anybody? That's what you got to do. <laughs> that's what you got to do. Look, <laughs> hey, just tell them, what, tell them what it was. I showed up and it was just like, yo, we got to get a crowd. I'm like. Say no more. When you have a personality for it, you could do that. You know, it's easy. I'm so glad that part of my career is over. Man. Well, I mean, to be, it, I'll be real with you. It brought me back to the barking for tickets days. That's what it really brought me back to, you know? Comedy show. Easily. Easily the worst shit I've ever done. I'm not even going to lie. I, I hated that shit. That's the that's that's the worst. It's so good you get through it. You know what I mean? Let you get you know. through it, but there there's some days. It's cold outside, you know? Fucking not now. It, well, yeah, now it's not cold. But. You know what I mean? Other than that, yeah, you know, Rock the Park show, been doing a lot, just out here working, that type of thing, but, you know, that's what it's all about. You back on these theaters, though, man. You see me out there. That's got to feel, keep how it, it good to be back on that Keep it stage? a foul with me, bro. How, what, what, what was the scouting report on your boy in these big shows, man? And that shit was dope, that shit was dope. Yeah. I got two perspectives, go I got, I got the backstage perspectives, so, you uh -huh. know, you, you, what you see backstage and what the audience sees. No. Nah. So the 7 o'clock show, on Friday, the 7 o'clock show, you know, I was, I was chilling, you know, I was backstage, boom, then I had to hit it from the audience perspective, you know, went out there, saw what that was like. They was fucking with you. <laughs> they was they was fucking with you heavy. They was fucking with you. Was Bro, fucking. listen, that's why I, like you know, I just be in these clubs and when I be telling y'all, nah, I'm I, in my head I'm at the garden tonight. I'm here, I'm there tonight. And you like, we ain't at the garden, we at stand of New York. What you mean? <laughs> and it's like, uh uh. Nah. So that's why when it happens, you know what I mean? When you do get the call, yo, big stage, blah, blah, blah. You see how I'm handling it comfortably. I was, I, the bit of feedback I got, you know, people just talking. Oh, he's done this before. You know, <laughs> people were saying that. People were saying that. And I'm just like, yeah, nah, he, he has. He has. Yeah. yeah. The way you navigate the stage. I was telling you about this before, but it's like definitely you could tell you was making, you was making use of all the space up there. One thing you've always, we already know this. One thing you've already told me, I've always told me is that like, you got to utilize every bit of the stage when you're on that stage performing. It's there for a reason. Everybody wants to enjoy the show. Yeah. 
So for everybody, you want to make sure the people in the nosebleed seats are having a yeah, good time too. People so up there, <laughs> they got their tickets late. They, they money ain't right. What up? We gonna put a show on for y'all. All part of the show, not you? just the front row. Exactly. So watching you even navigate that city, that was pretty dope, bro. I did the Civic Opera House in Chicago. That's like Chicago's version of Radio City, city Musical. You were showing me that shit, bro. If you're not using, first off, they have the biggest stage on the East Coast. I actually think they said in the country, but. If you're not using that whole stage, you're bombing because mm. it's a lot of people. So if only the people in the front feel like they're part of the show, you're bombing. I've been to shows like that. Where it's because like, there's so many people, so many places. You're going to perform for the people directly in front of you. It's over. You don't stand a chance. Fuck a joke. I've, yeah. <laughs> for, you, oh, but I said the joke about. Mm -mm, talk matter. It's, it's, it's what you say and how you say it. it's the performance yeah. aspect of it. You got to perform, too. Exactly. That's why, like I told you backstage, I was like, you ever notice the comedians that don't move around on stage? They only get but so far. Mm. But then you got the upper echelon comedians like Kevin Hart, Eddie Murphy, Martin, Sebastian, Joe Coy, you know. They make you say They do arenas for a reason. They putting a show on. Kev will bring fire out on stage. You that think he's putting fire Isn't on stage fire? Was funny. to stand still? No. He's you, over fire there. doesn't work if you're not moving. Yeah. <laughs> fire don't work. You know, it's that shit. Just yeah, don't it's a whole thing, man. That shit it's a funny. whole thing. Speaking of comedy, man, a lot. I, I seen something in the news the other day, this week, mm -hmm. came to my attention. Um, Cat Williams called out Cedric the Entertainer for stealing oh, the shit. joke. Yep. I saw about this. I saw that. Now, real quick, I'm biased. Cedric is my man. I know him personally. Shout out to Ced. I mean, first off, I understand. Like, I've seen the interview, so I'm not just going to try to dissect the clip. I saw it too, but go ahead. Yeah. I understand Cat was just venting. I don't think he was really trying to out anybody or anything like that. But first off, like I said, Cedric's my man. So, you know, that's where my loyalty lies. If... Somebody did something wrong to me, I have to address that immediately. That's just who I am. But the reason I could say I don't believe this is true, that what, what Kat is saying is, because if you steal, you steal. Right. That's your thing. That's you can't you turn that off. That's what you do. That's exactly. you. Exactly. You right. see what I'm saying? So in 30, something, said probably been doing comedy 35 years. In that span, one person said you stole their joke. One person. And the jokes at this point in time, 24 years old, from what Seth was saying. So with that being said, and, and then it's like, Cat got a history of making allegations. That's, that's the not thing. Really true. Not saying what he's saying is incredible, but look at who's saying it. You got A lot of that goes into account because you know what I'm saying? Not, nothing against Cat because he's one of the legends in the game. Yeah, but, no, Cat's definitely a legend. But at the same time, it's like, we're in the year 2021, you know, a, a lot of time has passed. If this was, you, you, why, why bring this up now? Like you said, no, 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 venting, no, 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 He didn't bring it up. The L'Oreal brought it up. He just answered a question. Mm -hmm. So he did, he just answered a question. There's nothing wrong with that. What I'm saying is I don't believe, look, I wasn't there. I was a kid when Kings of Comedy came out first off. So yeah. I'm definitely, Dude, damn. I'm definitely, I was definitely not there. Like I wasn't supposed to be watching Kings of Comedy when I was watching Kings of Comedy. <laughs> I'll say this though, like if you still, then he said would have stole other jokes. He would have a history of that because that's what, like nobody steals one time and it's like, oop, nope, don't do that. If you mm -hmm. steal, you steal. If that you don't, that, you don't. That's your shit. That's yeah, just. I've exactly never that. stole anything in my life because mm -hmm. I don't do that. Well, I mean, you you be going to you be going to stop and shop. You be fucking with you be fucking with, fucking with them over there. But <laughs> that's what we call snitching. Folks. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I take. I, I take. <laughs> nigga love self checkout. What do you want me to say? Nigga love self checkout. Bro, I take me. advantage of the deals at the store. <laughs> His deals, if you go to do self check, check everybody knows this. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing people don't know. Everybody knows that <laughs> there's different deals if you go do self checkout than opposed to having my man ring you up. <laughs> I take true. advantage of those. That's I scan true. my car. Boop. 
<laughs> and you good to go. <laughs> you good to go. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. And he's gone. That's it. Because if I'm, bro, if I'm work, if I'm doing self checkout, boom, I work here now. Exactly. Employee <laughs> you discount. You an employee? No, that makes sense. You an employee? You okay. an employee? That makes sense. That makes sense. Wow, I'm, I fuck with it. I gotta stop fucking with you or self checkout. <laughs> Cause you just gonna tell you just so you. Ugh, I know I fuck I fuck with the self checkout deals too. I, I definitely do. Nah, I don't do it no. I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> I definitely do though. Depending on who's there. But yeah, but, you know, it, it do come back to what you saying. I don't. I, I like. I like. I know Cedric. I don't. Uh, but here's the, here's the thing. You know, it's people know who you are, and like if this is something that he re- regularly did. If this is something he was known for, but Kat it would be the only one saying it. But it right. But it worked out. It's the closing joke on Kings of Comedy. Mm-hmm. Why not steal again? It worked. It was if successful. If it was that good, then yeah. Why wouldn't you go back and do exactly? That's how I could say I don't think he, I, I know, I don't, like I said, I wasn't there, but I don't think said that. that. And if. Said's not that type of person. I'm actually. sure. I mean, you know him. You yeah. know him. I don't know him. But at least from what I see of his character, if he knew at the time that that was a joke stolen or maybe that was something that Cat originally had. I'm sure he would have. I'm sure he would have substituted, dropped it for something else. I mean, if he was stealing, why not steal from the people you're on tour with? You're on tour with them. Hey. That's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, it's you know, joke that's such a big thing that we personally yeah. give it to. But it's like, I don't know. It's just I feel like at this point, 24, 25 years later, what do you? Well, uh, two things. One, what do you have to gain by even bringing it up now? He didn't bring it. I up. I know that he was answering the question, but it's like, but then he doubled down on it later. I did because he was out there. So he put I mean, the shit out there. What are you going to do? Take it back? He got to double down on it. I guess that's true, too. But it's definitely something. I don't know. It's such a it's such. I a don't think Cat is wrong. If you feel somebody stole from you, say that. What I am saying is, uh, see, whenever you creating something, mm-hmm. Nike and, and Adidas make sneakers that look alike, too. True. If you switch that's the true. logo. Mm-hmm. So at a certain point, I know somebody who is, I ain't going to say that story. Like, because... What I'm trying to say is you're a creative person. Someone else is a creative person. Y'all do the same thing. I hate to say the cliche, great minds think alike, but sometimes it get close. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I remember this like five years ago, I had a joke and I heard Michael Che do a joke similar. I did not think Michael Che stole my joke. (laughs) You know what I mean? Because it wasn't the same joke. It was just similar. You know what I did? What? His joke's better. Go. His joke was better. That easy? I don't know. I'm funny. You're not worried about... You You know that you gotta... You can pull out another one just as good as that one, if not better. Nigga. You ever had spaghetti? Uh, oh, I had some before coming here. I'm the sauce. Oh, so you make the you shit. Wouldn't, <laughs> you, you wouldn't eat spaghetti noodles without the sauce, would you? The sauce is everything. You could do garlic, but yeah, no, you're right. The sauce is everything. The sauce is everything. I'm not down. worried about that. I literally said that. I said that to Anthony Moore. I was like, yo, Che got a joke about, it's pretty much about like uh, how teachers going to teach when kids got the answers to anything you could ask them right in their hand. Right, in the phone. All right. Like, boom. And then uh, it was like, it's, he, he was like, you know, it's pretty much, it's hard to learn when you got titties in your pocket. You know what I mean? <laughs> che had something similar. I was like, boom, his joke's better. I could create more. I'm not a biter. I'm a writer for myself and others. Let me ask you. I that. say a big verse. I'm only bigging up my brother. You? Oh, he got bars too. Okay. But let me, let me ask I you. I write that. jokes for other, for other people. So it's like, I'm not worried. I Have write you jokes ever for- had a moment? I've been in a moment like this where maybe like a funny joke's been created between you and maybe another comedian where it's like, y'all both kind of come up with a funny idea and y'all just kind of riffing through it. it. Boom. A funny joke gets made. Right there. We got to sort that out. Now Yo, it's whose joke that. is it? I can, no, it's not who's that. Yo, can I get that? Nah, I was going to use it. All right, cool. Boom. Just like that? Simple. I chill with funny people. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to be arguing. No, but I said, bro, I got fire. (laughs) (laughs) I could take a shit today and come up with four fire jokes. Just like that. I mean, and I then get I'm that. gonna eat some fucked up shit to fuck my stomach up so I got shit again to make four more (laughs) fire because I'm creative today. For me, that I've only been in that situation. And one then I time. might not write a joke for four months. I've only been in that situation one time, but at the end of it, the guy was just like, "All right, I'm gonna use that on stage later." And I'm just like, "We not even gonna talk about who this belonged to." I remember thinking that he, it was his, and just like that. I was like, "Why are we not even gonna talk about this?" That kind of made me rethink a lot of stuff. It's right really now. nothing to talk about. Like, we shouldn't be fighting over whose joke it is. Just shit, go ahead, rock out, take it. Even if it was my idea, though, I don't know. 
know. <laughs> I feel like you I ain't seem like, like you wanted it. Yeah, I feel like it could go either way. I was just like, wow. You left it up there for grab. Granted, it's not even used anymore. Not something I would use, but it's just like a matter of just kind of made me think for a minute. I was like, damn, it's a dog eat dog world, but one of those type things. What? Right. But yeah, no. At the end of the day, do I really think Seth stole the joke or intentionally did it? No. But at, but if you know, if I can't not cap a feeling that way. Now I'm gonna be honest. There are people who out here steal jokes maliciously and do and are just like, yeah, I stole it. But that happens. That does happen a lot more than you think. And people will do your whole set in front of you. I've seen that. The whole set. The whole set. That's disrespectful. Come on, man. The whole thing. My man, Two Ray. I seen somebody do Two Ray's whole set right in front of me, and Two Ray told me that dude steal jokes. Everybody knew this guy stole jokes. In New York City. Wow. In fact, somebody it was funny because somebody was like, oh, old boy is here. I ain't doing no more jokes. <laughs> on stage. He was on stage. Like, was oh, on stage so-and-so here. Oh, I ain't doing no more jokes and just started freestyling. Oh, and then God. I was up next and I was like, yo, that was bad funny. He was like, yeah, you need to take notes. Don't do your set. <laughs> it was a notion. Don't, Don't do your set, bro. Wow. Yeah. It's that. like that. But... I'm not worried about that. Can't nobody do me better than me. Exactly. Because at the you end of the day. You fuck around, take my jokes, you bomb. I do my jokes, I kill. It's, it's on your you. Material. Your material is personal to you. You know what I'm saying? But this is what you think. The people who still don't think that. They're like, ooh, I could do that. Switch that name. It's like, bro, you done did oh, so switch much. switch that name you and all that kind of so shit. You done so much work. You might as well write your own jokes. But it is what it is. It's like, because then you got to ask yourself where your jokes come from, right? Where your creative process is coming from somebody else or does it come from you? It, it's gotta I just killed you. the show tonight. Well, I don't yeah. want to say I killed because I was hosting. But the crowd went crazy. I told a joke about me in third grade. It's literally about my name. Yeah, how am I going to steal that? It, it, it shit don't make no sense. Switch <laughs> it. My name is Alexander. <laughs> nah. It's, like, it's not going to ring off, right? It's no. It's not going to sound right with me saying it. Because that's not me. <laughs> it's not me. That's why it's mine. Exactly. But man. a lesser comedian will do that. Now, I don't want to say, and I say lesser, meaning a comedian who doesn't think uh, that much of themselves. Because they, hey, if a more successful person steals your joke or your idea, guess what? It used to be yours. Mm-hmm. Cause it's your like, all right. I don't want to put this. I don't want to use a name and put that on somebody's jacket. But no, but just make your point though. But let's say, uh, let's. I don't know. Nah, not Chappelle. Chappelle would never steal a joke. Um. All right. Well, since we're using cat, let's say cat says something that cat seen you one night in the club. Okay. And unintentionally, he thinks about the same thing while he's on stage. Unintentionally. He did not mean to do that. And he puts it on his special. And you're like, yo, that's my joke. Now, I've seen Cat pay people for their jokes. Like, yo, that was funny. Boom. I might use that. Here goes some money. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is maliciously, let's say a comedian, a famous person, anybody, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say Martin. He's way famous than anybody in this room. Uh, he sees you perform. He uses your joke. How are you going to prove it's yours? Sport Lawrence. You He's really, a legend. How do you prove Who's going to listen to you? And today, now I feel like there's today's age versus what it used to be. Like back in like when Martin was coming, like 90s, like maybe even early 80s type area, era. It's like nobody was really recording anything. Unless I have a recorded version of Oh, you're going to try to go put your shit out? I'm not saying For your 1,300 followers? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look. If I really, if I feel hurt in a sense, like, you're gonna be hurt. There's, cause here's the thing. There's, there's, there's keep in mind here. who you are in this situation. That's true, but I and feel who like he is. There's different levels to it. There's, we could have the same idea and go in two different directions, but we're going joke just, for joke. Motherfucker like, said your whole shit. He said your name in it. Okay, well then I gotta say something. <laughs> no, on. you you do that, but I got to. How you think that's gonna be successful? Do I think so? No, but I, somebody gotta take a stand. Cause you gonna post the clip of, oh, this is my joke. I did it four years ago, and Martin gonna post a video of him counting money. <laughs> the video sixty seconds, right? Video sixty <laughs> seconds, fifty nine seconds. He's counting money, right? Yeah. And he gonna look in the camera. Fuck, I gotta steal for. It's interesting. But back it's- to count. He back counting money. Fuck you. He back counting money. But that's why I who's feel gonna like- believe you. Hey, you see, that's the that's the thing. That's such a gray area. You know? So if so, a if a bigger comedian steal your shit, it used to be yours. So just stay out of that territory altogether. Personalize your shit to the point where nobody can steal it. But that's the, what I always say to do. Yes, it makes it easy. But you you gotta understand, like a default steal your debit card, a default steal your credit card. It's yours. They're gonna catch you. 
mm-hmm. they're still going to steal it. A thief steal for sport. You understand what I'm saying? It got your name in it. Cool. Yeah, he said your name. Cool. Whatever. Who cares? Bro, to race from Philly, the dude who stole his set, his, he from New York somewhere. Mm-hmm. He didn't change the Philly lines. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I don't know about that. He said he got Comcast. They don't have Comcast in New York, bro. Yo, I did notice that shit not out here. It nah. is in Jersey, though. No, nah, we got real shit. We got. You used to have that shit in Jersey. That yeah. shit was ass. I remember that. But now nah, let's get into fan questions, man. That's where the fans get to Wait ask Wait a minute. Questions. No, we not. Before we jump into any fan questions, what we got to talk about your week. What's up? Oh, look at this. You trying to sidestep going to the fan question. The fans can wait. The fans actually need to know what happened this week. What's good? Talk now, for everybody listening at home. <laughs> All right, I'm nigga, gonna, out in me. I'm, I'm not, not holding you. It's just some, something we didn't talk about all weeks. We talked about my week. We gotta talk about your week. I'm a man of God. He's a man of God. Now, was was you a man of God on Tuesday? It was the question. I get a call. No, so, I get a text. What right? happened Tuesday? I'm we at the comedy club? club. I'm at a comedy club. I'm at Broadway Comedy Club Midtown. Right. Just, uh-huh. just, I'm over there. It's Twelve o'clock midnight. I get a text. Right. <laughs> text go, is yo. Where you at? <laughs> go watch on. And I'm just like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm at the club. I'm like, you coming through? Whatever, whatever. He's like, nah, the car broke down. I said, what? Uh, the car broke down. And the whip, bro. The whip was down. Now, understand, 12 o'clock midnight on a Tuesday, if your whip is down, I'm going to come help you out. Bro. But there's a big butt here. It's going to be ridicule. <laughs> I'm going to come with the jokes, my nigga. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> I do. I come with jokes. <laughs> this guy was stuck, not, not, not in a parking space. Yes. Not in a parking yes. lot. Yes. Not in a driveway. This nigga was at the busiest intersection and, I done ever seen. <laughs> yo, it was crazy. It was crazy. Like, I wanted to be upset, yo. but I couldn't because when your shit got told, <laughs> oh, you was you, you Bro, documented the whole thing. You did some videos about my shit. I filmed a documentary you made a with you. Documentary yours. on me. Yeah. I called up Spike Lee. I was like, yo, bro, I need to hold the lens for the camera. Yo. Bro, I was on that other shit. With I you. was dead. Cause because I, I see people break down. I ain't never seen nobody break down at the intersection. Yeah, right nobody there. gave a fuck. What happened was, <laughs> yeah, nah, as you respect. <laughs> what happened was, you know them the, the, them dudes that trick out their Honda Civics mm-hmm. that make them sound like lawnmowers and yeah. all that? Oh, yeah. They be taking off and shit. All yeah. that goofy shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, translation, dudes that don't get no pussy. <laughs> um, yeah, them niggas. <laughs> so the guy is next to me. Everyone wants to race me, always. Like, I don't know. Like, if it's my, like, my car must look like I could take him. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Like, you know, I, I, got some, I got a couple of customized features on there, but, you know, I'm not racing nobody. Like, what are we right. going to race to? The stoplight? Exactly. No. Just to stop again and look at each other and do it all? Yeah, I'm a grown man. We're not going we're not gonna play Fast and Furious. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> so he pulls up next to me. He's like, vroom, vroom. I'm like, bro, making a left, beloved. Like, <laughs> you you in a turn lane. You in a turn lane. <laughs> I'm in a turn lane. <laughs> so, boom. And he's not taking no for an answer. I'm like, bro, I, I, I'm I'm okay. <laughs> Like, I've been in high school already. I've graduated. Believe it or not. <laughs> they got to get the backstory. You got to get the backstory. So he's revving his edge. I'm like, bro, respect, King. I'm good. <laughs> so all I see is mad smoke. I'm like, bro, you, your mad, mad exhaust is just flying in my window. What are Coming you? from him or coming from you? Oh, coming from him because he's revving his edge. It's right? my story. I'd love to tell it. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I'm like, bro, what is he doing? He's revving his engine. All his smoke is coming in. All his exhaust is coming in my window. He goes, wow. I'm like, that smoke is coming from my car, bro. <laughs> bro, I don't got no piece of shit. I got a good car. No, your car's good. Your I got a new car. Good. Like, my shit, I ain't got no, it's not 15 years old. It's none of that. None of that. The last thing I ever thought it would be my whip, bro. <laughs> my whip, bro. Because and, and then I'm first thing I thought, I knew I was supposed to get an oil change last yeah, week. Yeah, you blaming the oil. Yeah, you on the phone with me blaming this goddamn oil change. Bro, because I was supposed to get an oil change before we went to Idaho and right. I've been putting it off. I just been, I don't want to go today. I don't want to go. Bro, turns out. Quote comes, you know, whatever. He's laughing at me. Oh, I'm dying. The camera crew shows up before Quote get there. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh He's posting God. it in real time oh, on I'm the pulling up with on the, camera the gram. Rolling. That will come into play later. <laughs> so 
I'm like, Quo, I need you to run to the gas station, get me two quarts of oil. He does it. Cool. Boop, 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 boop. That's not the issue. The whole <laughs> time, <laughs> we t- not, two hours going by, the battery is still on. I did not know. Like, I did not cut the car off. <laughs> he didn't like, cut the, the car off. The engine, the ignition is off. But the car is, you know, the battery's still going. Battery's still running. I didn't know this. So, boom. Whatever. Uh, long story short, it wasn't oil. The battery dies. We put the quarts of oil in. We put the two quarts of oil in. Mind you, Quo's posting in real time. I didn't even tell you the best part, but keep going. So, people is showing up. Mad people. <laughs> like, I said, Quo, bro, like, chill. Like, <laughs> Yo, he's tight. He's tight the whole time. I'm not trying to tell him what to do on his gram, because that's disrespect. But I'm like, bro, niggas, know, they know me out here. Like, I be forgetting that, that like, you dead ass people really just roll by and just know. Because where I'm from, we don't see that, right? Where you from is like people just roll by and like, oh, it's him. I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh. Bro, where I live, people don't really see me. <laughs> Like, are you a ghost out there? It's like, I think that was, I don't know. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You've seen it. People I've, I've people will it. hit me up on I've Facebook. Hey, we're standing next to you online in Macy's. That's creepy. I've seen that. Yeah. That's weird. That's I'm like, weird. so why you didn't say hi? Oh, you didn't look like you was in a good mood. Instead I'm of like, saying hi in person, I'm going to hit you on the side. Now it's like, weirder than a mug. Now it's like, why would I say anything now? On Facebook? Like, yeah, that shit. Well, make sure they got check this shit. That shit. That shit. Yeah, on Facebook. Or people will hit me. They'll see me leaving the gym. Hey, was that you? Like, I right, I get it. But that, that's weird. That, that, that's I weird. signed up for this. <laughs> I wanted to be a comedian. I wanted to be in the spotlight, whatever. Cool. This is what comes with it. But my whip ain't supposed to do that. The best part this. about all of this, the best part is when you pull out a funnel. He he has a funnel with yeah. him to put oil in his car. I've never seen someone casually pull a funnel out of the car, out of like they car seat area. Oh, bro, I've never see, seen, all right. Funnels are for the kitchen, my nigga. <laughs> what, are you, <laughs> what are you doing with that? So how are you pouring <laughs> fluids in your car, bro? Hey, I'm eyeballing that shit. I'm just, I'm taking the bottle and I'm just. <laughs> and spill funnel. it all over the whole engine? Yeah. yeah nah, nah, a nah, funnel? Nah. Oh, well, as soon as I saw that's because I t- that's because <laughs> one one of the times I took my car to my man to get my oil changed, and he was like, "Oh nah, just just pour the oil in it. Just pour the oil in the funnel. It'll go right in." And I was like, "Oh, from that day forward, what funnel?" <laughs> he was like, "It costs a dollar." So, and I saw the disappointment on his face. So I had to go buy. It's a dollar. He's calling me a cheap motherfucker. But you ain't had, but but here's the thing. He had the funnel for the oil, and that's a good thing. Hilarious, but it's a good thing. But you ain't had the cables for the battery, my nigga. The see the backstory of that is I didn't have the cables for the oh, battery, and I man. said, well, on clothes on his way to come get me. <laughs> he goes, bro, so you got cables? I'm like, why would I need cables? My battery's fine. <laughs> I said, why would I need cables? My battery's fine. I said, are you sure you I said he you said, bro. bro <laughs> You don't have cable. Why would I need that? My car. I don't like. Why, why People got I? the cables over the funnel. That's Meanwhile, the while we're joking and telling this story, the battery's dead. <laughs> shot. Shot. <laughs> but his, his hazard lights is blinking. Can't even shut them off. I couldn't shut them off. <laughs> that shit was fucked up. That was that was, was crazy. That was oh, a weird damn. thing. But yeah, yo, so many people pulled up on us that night. That was wild. And, and then offering help, but you know they don't want to help. Yeah, I mean, people were gonna say, "Yeah, yo, you, you need help over there," but they, they're hoping you say no. Everybody I know, and then it's like, um, not only that, we could have did a podcast episode just with people, <laughs> everybody who pulled up. So right people, in the middle of the intersection. So many people. It was like we stopped on Main Street, USA. Oh, I didn't that like shit it. Was hilarious. But in nah, my man got me back on my feet. It oh, was shout out to him. It, it yeah, was you, you. You always say the thing. No, no, no. I wasn't going to. Nah, he's a good dude. He all just know this. He's got somebody he could call twelve o'clock midnight on a Tuesday when he got called. He, he was there in ten minutes. That's the craziest shit. He was there in ten. Better with, than AAA. That's, with, that's amazing. With the uh, the cables, 
yeah, with the solution. <laughs> yeah. He had a problem. Cable. But nah, yo, the hose, oh, it was one of the hoses leaked. And the best part is when, when, as soon as the motherfuckers start getting his shit fixed, he start talking like he's the expert. Uh, yeah. <laughs> clearly, it was. Oh, it clearly, was, it was the clearly, hose. Clearly, it was the hose. Was it, was it the oil? We thought it was the oil. It was the, the carburetor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the catalytic converter. <laughs> it needed to cool down with the catalytic. <laughs> he starts talking like he knows some shit. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, nigga, do this shit three hours ago. We'd have been good. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, motor story. Be there for your friends, but be ready with the camera too. That being said, yeah, I got, let's get into the fan questions. I got some fan questions for the week. That's where the fans <laughs> get to ask us quite questions with quote. Y'all questions know what with it quote. Is. You know how it go. We out here got three fan questions from y'all. Yo, real, oh, real quick, I want to plug the merch. Yo, oh, go ahead, go ahead. we got the Wellies World merch. Yes. Go to WellyJackson.com. Mm -hmm. Get your merch. We got the tees up for the summertime. We still got hoodies and we got everything, but it's t-shirt weather. You know the vibes. WellyJackson.com. Also, make be sure to subscribe to the podcast on YouTube. Yes. Welly's wow. World Podcast, man. Keep going. On the topic of that, make sure you check out the new the new t-shirts. Got the splash out on it. Looks dope. Definitely check those out. Yeah. We got three questions for y'all. And actually, I like this first question right off the bat. This was coming from Kelly. Shout out to you, Kelly. My friend always gets into fights. Should I jump in to help her? Can you fight? <laughs> now, this is a loaded question. This is a Can you done, fight? I just got done saying you got to help your friends. This is a loaded question. Now, that's that's an important part. If you're unable to fight, there's nothing you can do here. You no. Know? If, you're, if your friend is drowning and you can't swim, you better not be in that pool. No. You know? that's, that's, that's the problem, right? But at the same time, how many people are we fighting? Matter of fact, if you're asking that question, you you definitely can't fight. Because <laughs> you definitely can't. Well, you're like, I would never think to ask that. Boom. Boom, we getting it rocking. Let's go. It even though I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to fight. I don't. But that's how you know somebody a killer when he don't want to fight. I don't no want to fight, bro. <laughs> that's how you know somebody's a certified. Cause killer. see, you beat people up and then people get mad at you for years <laughs> later. It's like you, you made me do this to the you. Motherfucker like Mike Tyson. He just chill now. I don't want to <laughs> do that. I don't want to do. I don't want to fight no one. <laughs> no. But the other question is, why is she always getting into fights? That's what I'd I'm rather like. pray about it than fight. <laughs> I'm serious. you rather pray about it? Yeah, let's shit. pray. But <laughs> she can't fight. fight. That's why she's asking, like, please tell her to stop. But even if you can't fight, don't you feel like the reasoning here is important? Like, like she said, her question keeps getting into fights. As in, this isn't the first fight you've gotten into. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's a matter of, look, maybe... I'll, if Well, I, maybe she could fight and she's tired of having to fight. Or it could be that. Yeah. My thing is, even, whether I can fight or not, let's say, assuming I can, I, I could throw a couple jabs, but uh, assuming I could fight in this circumstance, right? What what are we fighting for? Like like what what happened? Like did you did you did you trip him and now he's mad and he's coming at you right? Or did, I don't know like it, or is this some dumb shit? Like you know you, maybe they made spaghetti and forgot sauce and maybe the shit wasn't good. You know sometimes the ass whoop is warranted is what I'm trying to get at. No nah, it sounds like her friend is, is, is yo I forget yo somebody used to have this shit on uh, Instagram. It was a hashtag girls that could fight. That was, and, a, that was a yeah. hashtag. And, and, and he used to be like, girls that could fight got nappy hair on the back of their neck. And he'd be like, girls that could fight ain't got no pinky toe. <laughs> yeah. No pinky toenail. Yeah. Uh, he, girls yo. that could fight got dirty dishes in their sink. Shit like that. Yeah. I forget who it was. That shit was funny. <laughs> but apparently, yeah. So moving on. Let's go. Next question. Questions with Quo. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. In other words, you should just to wrap up Kelly's question. You should find out what the reason is first. And if you know, you got to crack some skulls, crack some skulls. The second one's coming from Crystal. Shout out to you, Crystal. Shout out. Oh, interesting. How would you feel if a woman proposed to you? Like a bitch ass nigga? <laughs> you wouldn't be cool with that? No, I ain't cool with that. That'd be weird. I don't know how I would respond to it personally. I mean, you know, I'll be laying that dick down. <laughs> I right, I get it, but. <laughs> Nah, that's a man's thing. Like if she bro. came with the ring, I'd be like, "What are you doing with that?" That's... What I'm going to do with this? Like, ah, oh, my baby. Yeah, that's nah. I'm good. That's do people do that? People really do that? I be seeing it on Instagram. I ain't never seen nah, it. You can see life. anything on it? Every, every everything's on Instagram. That's the problem. It's dude, I don't even think women actually want to do that. That's my thing. You know, they want they they want their man to propose to them. They they look forward. Yeah, but if they know it's not going to happen, they I could see. I did see. I see the chick do that on Facebook. That I, the chick I really know did that on Facebook. Yeah. What was her reasoning? She felt like she it? wanted to lock him down. What did he say? Yes. Oh shit. <laughs> I seen that. I seen. Oh, that. He didn't say yes. He whispered I yes. He'd be like, "Girl, yes." No. Yeah. People looking. <laughs> I, I. I mean, I. Hey, I had an opinion on it, but who am I? 
I don't know. For me, it's like I got. I, I I imagine. I imagine how that goes, right? So for me, it's like I, I I like I set it up perfect, you know, in the perfect scenario and everything. But if she just come out with it, I'm just like, come on. I'd be like, yeah, but but put that away. I'll, I'll do this again later. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll do this my way. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. No, you wouldn't. What? Are you kidding me? You're full of shit. Of what? Why is that? You gonna break your baby heart? I'm a, Let's just put that away. We do that. Nah, later. I mean, Nigga, like, you will never hear the end of it. I'll, what? Take, I'll take it. I'll take it. But I'll be and like, you're going to be happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> you're going like, to show every. Ah! I know you're stupid, man. Yeah, you gonna do all of that. that. No. Like, oh, we can do this later. Miss me with the cool shit. Cause you gotta live with her. So well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You 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 gonna try to what play it cool for the niggas in the street? I'm gonna do it. Well, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. If you do it in a public setting where people like uh, middle of Manhattan, Times Square, you get down on a knee to me. Oh, all right, look. <laughs> nah. Oh, you going to tell her? No, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Get Time up. Times Square. That, yes. That will be on the news. Nah. No, you're not. And the, <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah. You a Jersey nigga? <laughs> the news don't be in Times Square like that. They be in the Bronx, nigga. Everybody knows this. Oh well, yeah, they on. Yeah, they on the Bronx. But and they on Nostrand Avenue. You, you a fool. You better play it up. What? You better jump all that shit. Cartwheel. <laughs> yeah. You. You never hear the end of it. Keep it moving. Next and then you question. Get back to, then you get back to the crib and then the fight start. I was supposed to do that first. That was that was the second question from Crystal. And I got one more for y'all. This one coming in from Rocco. Rocco said. Rocco sent questions every week. Shout out to him, he's man. He's a good dude. Did he on the show at this point. <laughs> yeah, right? Yo, <laughs> we should just bring him on. He got questions for days. It's one from Rocco. He says, when did everybody feel like they became aware of their purpose? That's interesting. Did you have like a moment? Oh, that's deep. Um, like Yeah. That. Uh, what shit? I know exactly when it happened for Same me. Same with me, but you first, or I could go first. I had, I went to, I tried to go back to school, finish school. Oh yeah, because I need six credits to get my degree. Mm -hmm. I tried to, and they was like, "No, silly rabbit! Like we, we kicked you out." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> they kicked you out. You tried to go back. They they, they dismissed me twice. So this <laughs> would my th nah, nah, everybody this gets been my third time. <laughs> and they were like, "No, we we dead ass. Like you done." And I was like. Well, I can't go back to school, so I'm going to have to dust off this high school diploma for the rest of my life. Uh-uh. I tried to be a DJ that night. That night. <laughs> I had $2,500, and I was I, I priced out DJ equipment. You know, like I had the laptop, so I'm like the mixer, all the other shit. It came out to $2,200. Oh, shit. So I had $300 to spend. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I was like... Well, everybody tell me I'm funny, so I'm gonna see what this comedy shit do. <laughs> so you bought the equipment, and then you just—I ain't buy shit. I oh, left that still oh. in my car on Amazon. Still, in <laughs> still there. there, just chilling. Yeah, that was <laughs> ten years ago. And then I was like, "Up, oh, I'm gonna be a comedian with twenty five hundred dollars in my pocket." Let me rephrase Rocco's question then. What was the moment you realized he was funny? Now you said people told you, but when did you first start hearing that? Well, when I was in college, I remember it vividly. One time, I was in the bank. And, you know, there's all different types of races, all different uh, types of people in the bank, you know, financial status and all that. And the mm -hmm. line was long and I'm the last one on the line, bro. I had everyone dying laughing. And it's like I remember it was an old Asian lady. She was like, you're funny. You should be a professional at that. And I guess she didn't know what it was called. Uh -huh. And I was like, I guess like because that was what made me realize I don't know this woman. I probably would never speak to her. You know what I mean? Like, what do we have in common? And she's dying laughing. And she's like, you should be a professional at that. And then I'm like, wow, everybody does tell me I'm funny. And then here we are. That's interesting. Yeah. Because I feel like when it comes to your purpose, it's a repeated, it's a repeat thing. Like you just, you keep, it's something that doesn't go away. You know what I mean? Yeah. You keep hearing it. You keep hearing it. First time for me, I remember I was actually in high school giving a presentation about Susan B. Anthony. It was a world history class, right? And we, we, we was learning about, I don't know jack shit. I don't remember anything about it, right? But all I remember is it was a group project. I'm with three other people. I remember exactly who they were too. And they didn't contribute at all. I was, I was, I was that dude. <clears throat> yeah, I was the guy who set up everything, set up the slideshow. Oh, you was the goofy motherfucker. Keep yeah, going. I was the one who actually did the work. And I remember walking up and I'm just like, you know what? I said, I could go buy the book here. I could follow the script, tell everybody what they want. I'm, I'm just going to say how I feel. Right. Because I felt slighted by everybody else in the group. And I went up there and I just started talking and about a very unfunny subject. And then it was just all of a sudden everybody just started laughing. And I, I was getting mad because I'm just like, wait, I'm like, oh, no, I'm like, I'm not not really what I'm trying to go for. 
So afterward, after the fact, I remember the, I went to the teacher afterwards, right? I was just like, hey, man, I'm sorry. I'm not, I wasn't really trying to, I'm not, not trying to be the funny guy or nothing like that. And he said, don't apologize for people being laughing. He goes, it's just funny when you speak like that. And I'm like, word? And he was just like, yeah. So I'm like, so if I just keep saying how I feel about things, people find it amusing. He was like, yeah. And then I took that shit and I ran with it. <laughs> yeah. Ran nah. with that shit. Sprinted like a motherfucker. Now, nah, comedy yeah. was the best thing I ever did in my life. I wish I would have did it a little sooner. But then I probably wouldn't have been funny because in order to be funny, you have to have life experience. That's true, too. You got to experience it. You got to live some shit. That's why, I like, teenagers aren't comedians. Mm -hmm. And the ones who are are either Dave Chappelle or we've never heard of them. That's true, too. Yeah. It, it doesn't happen often is my thing. Like, Dave yeah. was going to be a comedian no matter when he started. But even then, Dave will tell but you. But who's the second one? But, I mean, that's true, too. But Dave will tell I you. I can name one, but it's whatever. But he, but like I was saying, he 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 himself will tell you that until he actually started experiencing things, that's when he really got good. You know, you can look at him in his early days, like on Star Search and shit like that. But it's like Eddie Murphy will tell you. Eddie Murphy's the other one, but Eddie Murphy could tell you too. He was he was um in the beginning, he would just listen to what Richard Pryor would say. Right? He yeah. said he used to just joke about shit because that's all he ever did at 14, 15 years old. Yeah, you ain't got. Yeah. There's no point in reference. You're talking about the girl who broke out with you during fifth period when that's just one girl in your whole lifetime but you know at 15 you thought y'all was getting married exactly so you used to just joke about just talking about just taking a shit but it's funny though it's, you're right mm -hmm. i definitely feel like when it comes to your purpose it's something like just that happens repeatedly 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 yeah, yeah, yeah you keep hearing it then it's like all right i gotta do something with this you but can't outrun you can. your purpose nah it's going you can't do that uh, mm -mm, no you can try you could definitely try but then something then you then you end up living with that regret so that's what that come down to though for real nah that's cool real quick one question a piece. It's just us. Mm -hmm. Truth or truth. Boom. You first. A truth or truth. We ain't do this shit in a minute. Let's it's get it. It's been a while since we truth last truth. did this. It's been a while. Truth or truth. A truth. Or okay. All right. Anything you want to ask me. Go. <laughs> I'll ask you anything, but you just got off that theater. So let me ask you this. Right. That first show back on. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking. So you did the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's seven o'clock show. Well, this isn't the question, but the last time you did the theater has been a couple of years, right? yeah what was it like just kind of that first i want to say maybe the first 20 30 seconds while you try to had to you had to pull you had to go back to a zone i'm sure yeah because like i've been headlining since then like i've been headlining the past six seven years consistently mm -hmm. since yeah so it's different you know opening for somebody and you know the crowd's still coming in right so that's different you know they're not they, you know they, they they're not settled in yet that's different only thing really going through my head is you it's a different beast. You gotta build a set. As if I'm headlining, I'm just killing. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just keeping it at this level. Boom. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's going, we're gonna go, you know, it's gonna be Rick and scale, but it never drops below a certain point. You keep it maintain it at a certain level. Right? Yeah. Like if we could keep that shit at like an eight point five or a nine. Boom, we're going to hit 10 a bunch of times. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it never drops below that 8.5 or that 9. But hosting is not like that. you literally taking them from nothing to something. you setting the tone for the whole you show. You got to build the whole thing. Yeah. So the key, if a good, the key to a host being good is if everybody else has a good set, then you're good. That means you said, you know, it's, but me, I look at it as if I can nail my last three jokes flawlessly, boom, boom, boom. I know what the next, I know what everybody else is going to do because I set the table for that. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, but oh, as for what was going through my head, it was pacing. Like, all right, cool. Wait. It, they still coming in. These people don't even know where their seats are and they spread out. You see what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So it's like, no, 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 no. Because you settled into your groove after a while, uh -huh. right? It came back to you. But I noticed it just took a little bit of adjusting. In the, in the, yeah, because they still coming in. They still a little bit spread out. Right, right. I see what you're saying. That, that would never happen if I was if I was headlining. Because mm -hmm. the table them. would have been set for you. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. Interesting. I just like to know that. Boom. Hey, be touching those theaters. So. I can ask you anything I want. Anything. Go ahead. You're transparent. <laughs> if he has to ask this, I'm not about to like the question. Watch. I'm not going to like the question. Go but ahead. you got to answer it. Ask it. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, cool. So, you know, my Here man Al Close out here in these streets. He's for the streets, actually. <laughs> Boom. Here it comes. Yup. Here it comes. You all right, man? <laughs> Am I all right? That's the question? Nah. 
What? <laughs> what? What's the question? Yo, I'm getting nervous. Why? What's the question? The qu is the question of my eyes? How many girls you talk to, bro? Nah, I don't even want to do that because that's a foul question. <laughs> He's, he's trying to light my shit up. We, uh, we, uh, that's your question. That's no. your question. It's up to you. What, what are you? What am I? What's your status right now? Quo. That's the status. Ooh, Feeling good. like a damn good motherfucker. That's Ooh, what it is. I believe in transparency. You in a relationship, you single, or you dating? If so, how many women are you dating? I don't know. Okay, so we we got we got a, a nigga got, got a, a nigga got bitches. We we got a couple going on here, but I don't particularly know. I don't know where I stand with like two out of three of them, <laughs> even though one of them's made it perfectly clear. That but was, it's that was a terrible answer, bro. But it's so your your question is here's what I <clears throat> here's what it is. You should have said one. Tra well, you said transparency. I'm giving you transparency. That means lie. <laughs> oh, that's what it means. So, for truth or truth, who the fuck's truthful? Me, nigga. I'll, I'll lay my shit out there. I'm the only fuck. truthful motherfucker, and everybody else be lying to me. So, I ain't got no girlfriend, but I'm definitely talking to a couple people. That's what it come down to, you know. That's cool. See what they about? You We're gonna edit that out. I shouldn't ask you no shit. Like that. <laughs> that was <laughs> fucked up on my part. I was, I was gonna ask you some completely other question. You should have. Like, how did it feel coming to that show at the theater? And, and Eric, we can talk about it. We can talk about it. You want to talk about Quo it? Quavo, he's not. Yo, we got, <laughs> we got time. Dave said, "Wrap this shit up, bro." Yo, I got another thirty minutes of me. Yo, Eric, thank you, bro. <laughs> Leanna, Nikki, Paris, my dog. Wellies World Podcast. This is dope, man. We out of here. Yo, I had fun with y'all. This has been a good time. Good, good weekend is too, man. My man was out here killing it. Eric killed it. Nikki Paris killed it. Yeah. Good time for good people. Gotta shout out Leanna too. Gotta shout out Leanna as well. Ultimate support. Shout out to everybody Eric. from Staten Island who came through Morristown, New Jersey. Mayo Performing Arts Center. That shit was dope. Yeah, that shit was dope. Yo, Wellies World Podcast, man. We out. See oh, you next week. hold up. Hold up. Oh, hold up. Or, or not. All right, go ahead. Philadelphia. Philly, okay. Philadelphia. Punchline Comedy Club, Philadelphia, August 4th. Go get your tickets right now. Wellyjackson.com. It's going to be lit. Wellyjackson.com. Go get your tickets. Philadelphia Punchline. I'm on my way. August 4th. Let's go. Philly, we out there. Come see us. Peace. We out. Dougie on a beat.